Hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Well, this is Samaya Fanta. Um, I'm going to present you on uh, what is a polynomial matrix composite is. So please uh, uh, follow me. So polymer matrix composites are one of an important class of composite material, uh, which is uh, used in many uh, engineering application areas, uh, especially in the area of aerospace and the area of, uh, I can't specify the uh, special uh, class of usage. So let us see what it is. So polymer matrix used in the composites uh, Polymers are materials, uh, which are the class of uh, class of materials with flexible form and widely uh, varied compositions. And the properties are changed at the polymer interact with environment over time. So structurally, polymers are large molecules built from many uh, small molecules and can consist of many thousands of atoms in chain or network of repeating units. So as we know this in chemistry, the, these repeating units are called monomers. So when monomers are connected to each other, then it produces a giant structure called a uh, polymer. And the process of uh, doing this is called uh, polymerization. So in chemistry, you have uh, different types of polymerizations. So uh, uh, it is there in chemistry. So composites are hierarchical design of uh, matrices and fibers and also, also other components. Okay, matrix and fibers are the basic component of composite. And there are also some other uh, ingredients which should be added to uh, form a composite. So polymer matrix composites are an important class of composites, uh, which are used in aerospace industries, which are used in sport areas, which are used in uh, space shuttles, uh, in uh, lightweight cars. Okay even in the uh, biomedical applications for preparing uh, or for uh, different uh, uh, due to it is uh, good strength and uh, durability and also uh, so this is a very important class of material and this is a challenge to develop uh, history-based durability uh, models that will enable composite developers and component designers to tailor the property of the matrix uh, that is uh, resin and the interstitial phase between matrix and fiber to the uh, intended use. Just as I tailor the direction of fibers to uh, principal direction of the loading. Principal direction of loading means uh, the direction of uh, along the direction of loading. So as we know in composite uh, fibers are the load bearing uh, structural numbers and the matrix are the one which transfer load from uh, one part to another and at the same time which enclose the fiber uh, or, or it, it holds the fiber inside of it. So as use uh, as used in the environment go to extreme of stress, temperature and chemical compositions and other factors. This challenge becomes both more important and more difficult. So uh, actually this such kind of uh, composites are used in uh, uh, the area of high uh, extreme uh, temperature conditions. So polymer matrix composites are uh, materials made up of more than one component, as, we, as I said, uh, that components are mainly the fiber and the matrix. Uh, in this case, uh, polymer is the uh, uh, thermoset polymers are considered as the matrix or the resin. 
and the carbon fiber is considered as the fiber. So uh, this combination will yield us uh, a high performance material. Okay, so the primary property of uh, polymer matrix composite is generally that it is structural, but a number of other functional properties may also build into it. So a multitude of layers, which are in a uh, stack of lamina, uh, what you can get, we call it as multitude, multitude of layer, and continuous fiber reinforcers. Some of them are particulate reinforced and uh, monoparticle uh, field materials can be uh, called as uh, polymer matrix composites. Sometimes we can add some choked fiber to increase the strength and the functionality of the material and the number of additives also comes. Okay, composites or material consisting of micron diameter. Actually, the fibers are uh, very micron in size. Uh, most considerable size of uh, uh, my fibers are uh, about six mm, micrometer or eight micrometer or 10 micrometer maximum, as stated by uh, many researchers, which are uh, very good. Uh, for the uh, high performance material application. We cannot need that bigger size of uh, wire. Uh, it has disadvantage. When the size of wire uh, increase, uh, it is not like as that micro uh, fibers. So such fibers are bond in a polymer matrix, which thermoset polymer matrix is particularly Okay, not the thermoplastic polymer, but thermoset polymers, uh, which are resins are used here, which are combined together to get high performance structural material or application. So polymer material is composites. Uh, in many cases, uh, these are a continuous carbon fiber. Uh, the two constituents mainly is continuous carbon fiber in a high temperature thermoset resin material that is uh, a suitable material for high performance material but they can also be uh, other fibers may used or other resin type we can use there are uh, peg type resin we have uh, different specification of resins are there as the size of a dispersed phase become uh, much smaller than micron, the uh, distinction between the composite and the blender breast. And so does the uh, boundary between uh, continuum and the molecule mechanics will become. So study in the area of uh, nanoscale fillers. Uh, we are currently using the nanoscale uh, materials also. So uh, actually the problem of the use of this nano scale is uh, it needs high computational cost and it needs high uh, performance computers. So they stayed in the area of nano fillers and the molecular dispersions in both fibers and resin is just an emerging technology that is known as nanotechnology. And the modeling of this material is inconsistent. That is the only problem. So nano size inclusion uh, fundamentally affect polymer mobility, allowing the mechanical and thermal properties of composite to be dramatically uh, altered even with very small volume fraction. Okay. So this table shows the characteristic and application of high performance uh, fiber reinforced polymer matrix composite. So the characteristics are listed here and applications are given here. So uh, the basic characteristics include specific strength and toughness. Then means uh, this high uh, performance composites uh, that the composite made from carbon fiber and the polymer matrix uh, are having a good specific strengths and the toughness. The specific stiffness, uh, that um, the stiffness of materials, strengths also have, 
and it is also lightweight. So such materials are applicable in the area of aerospace, construction, sport goods, and uh, lightweight automobile, automobile, automobile uh, uh, industries. Why we are using this lightweight structure for aerospace application? This is basically uh, due to uh, uh, the relation between the weight of material and the fuel consumption. The relation between the weight of the material and the environmental effect. Okay, whenever the structure of an aircraft is higher, obviously it needs higher uh, fuel. It consumes higher fuel. And these fuels are fossil uh, fuels, uh, which are uh, the output of those fuels are uh, like hormone dioxide, uh, okay, uh, and other uh, environmentally uh, incompatible materials. Or the so uh, this the combustion product of fuel uh, can affect the environment so that it directly relates. Uh, to the weight of the aircraft, so that uh, we use uh, this lightweight structure for the construction of aerospace uh, structures. Like about 50% of the aircraft structure is made from uh, composite currently. Uh, that means directly from carbon composite, especially the Dreamliner 787 uh, is made from this. Another characteristic is high dimensional stability, low coefficient of thermal expansion, and low aberration. So the printer circuit borders, missile structures, aircraft uh, braids, aerospace antennas, and uh, support structures, large telescopic optical bends, waveguides for the stable uh, high frequency um, precision measurement frames. These all are made from uh, uh, such uh, material. So this is due to uh, the high dimensional stability and low coefficient of thermal expansion as well as low abrasive behavior. So it is not uh, um, um, uh, give wear and tear immediately like as uh, other structures. So Another application, another characteristics, vibrational damping characteristics. Okay, it is it has a good damping characteristic. Uh, it does not give uh, that uh, the vibrational structure to the higher oscillation. Uh, another is strength and the toughness. So it is having high specific strength and uh, toughness. So due to that, it is used for audio equipment, including microphones and speakers. Robotic arms are made from this material. The, the fourth characteristic is electrical conductivity. So this material uh, are used in the airframe and the aircraft skin material, uh, novel tooling, uh, casings and bills for electronic equipment. Electromagnetic interference, EMI, and radio frequency shielding and brush. So, this is due to the uh, uh, electrical conductivity behavior. Uh, then, another characteristic is low biological reactivity and permeability. So, medical uh, process, uh, processes, uh, again, surgery and x ray equipment. Uh, implants, uh, tendon and ligament repairs are uh, made from this material. Especially currently, uh, the uh, most uh, engineers or designers of this material uh, trying to uh, cover uh, many medical uh, related equipments uh, for the implementation of uh, human teeth, for example. Human teeth, actually, naturally, the human teeth by itself is a composite, but still, if this human teeth is damaged, then people try to replace it with the composite uh, materials. Okay. Another uh, 
not only that, but some of the surgery equipment, okay, uh, which are uh, very, uh, actually that is uh, related with the, my, that nano material. The surgery case are related with nano composites. That nano composites can replace even human tissues. Okay. So uh, that is what. Another fatigue resistance and self lubricating property. That characteristics uh, motivates the application of general engineering application with moving parts, such as automobile bodies and those rotating uh, components. Low chemical reactivity and high corrosion resistance is also another characteristic. So chemical exposure, radiation fields, valves, seals, pump components are uh, more, uh, most made from this material due to low chemical reactivity and high corrosion resistance. Okay. Electromagnetic property is another property uh, which uh, tells this uh, material for application. So electronic devices, motors, gener generator parts, radiological equipments are most made from this uh, material. So uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is what I want to uh, give a lecture on uh, actually a lot of things are there but I didn't include it. Okay, thank you very much.